How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary. Today, if you don't know what game mode just came back to Halo 5 and I'm super hyped about that is... <gasps> Extermination! Yes, I absolutely love this game mode. It's an amazing, amazing game mode that just needs to be permanent in Halo 5 in my opinion. So let's just jump right into it and start playing. Alright, okay, so now we have a brand new map for Extermination. They added in a few more new maps in this playlist, which is going to be awesome. This is actually played on like the outside area of, uh, what was it, uh, Fathom, as you can tell right there, the, the floaty little uh, whale thingy in the background. And uh, this is I've never played this map before, and it's actually going to be my first game of the night, too, so I think it might be a little bit uh, sketchy here when it comes to shot accuracy, but we'll see how it goes. So if you guys don't know last time that uh, I was absolutely obsessed with Extermination last time around. I think it's like the best combination of just like really competitive, intense, and yet fun action. And that I think something that Halo 5 really misses out on. And this basically just kind of takes the game mode of like Breakpoint, I think it's called Breakout, but it actually makes it into like a good game. Because one thing, the maps are super close quarters, very, so the matches always stay intense. High action at all times in this game mode. I can, can I just get a kill? Can I just, can, can I, can I just, can I, can I just, can I just, can I just get one? No, not one. But we, hey, we got the win. But yeah, rounds are always super intense because the maps are rather small, so the action's always super high. Like, right, like, like we're already in action right now. Fast paced action. And you don't have to like go searching for stuff because the team already cleared out everybody. Wow, I got on the good team this time around. And uh, it's like it, basically you get the essentially like still the same full sandbox of Halo without any kind of like m uh, minimization of what the game has to offer really. Oh, and I died. But yeah, you slowly, I still feel like you get the full experience of what it is to play Halo, but just with a different bit of context to it, different maps. Uh, and different, it just lends itself to a different same style. And of course, also like you know the strategic level of uh, you know having to you know push when you know guys are hurt or we have we have guys down. Like right now, we just took them all out and we got another round completely. One. I don't think I've got a single kill this time. I don't have, I don't have a single kill. Just nothing but just zero kills and three assists. That's uh, that's all I got right now. I definitely got stacked on with the full party because this is making things a lot easier for me. Come on, let me get this one kill, please. No, I don't get one. <laughs> well, that was a fast win right there. Alright, so I definitely got carried last match. We're going to have to continue on with this video. Like another brand new map I've never played on this one either. And I played a lot of Extermination last time around. But we're kind of getting back to what I was talking about how Extermination is a different variation of Halo, but it doesn't feel like you're missing out on any part of what Halo has to offer. It's, it feels like it kind of gives you the full experience of what Halo is, but then also giving you the ability to uh, play in a different variation with different kind of, you know, uh, combinations of, you know, of having to play more aggressively at strategic times, you know, being kind of sweaty and calling out things out, which I kind of like about the game mode. Uh, a lot of people don't like about the sweaty aspect of extermination, but I think it's, but it's a good kind of sweat. Like it's a, uh, it's fun, and I really do enjoy it, and I love playing this game mode. I would love to see it come back as a permanent option. Oh my gosh. The red team was very serious last round. Hopefully, uh, nope, not that much change this time for me. So, <laughs> well, get a kill eventually in this video, I swear. Come on, buddy, just stay alive. Two seconds, you got this, you got this, yes! Oh, he stayed alive. See, it's moments like that which makes this game so freaking awesome. You're like, oh, is he gonna stay alive? Things get intense and stuff like that, and then he pulls it out, and you're like, that's amazing, dude, great job. We're gonna get our first kill, yes! Oh, that's not the damage guy. Shoot, I shouldn't have charged. Oh, we got the kill. Oh, we got the assist. Oh, and I got shot from behind. Okay. All right, so the round continues. But yeah, like what I was talking mentioned earlier, saying how I feel that... Oh, my, my one up here. Yep, there we go. Saying how the map, how the game mode of Breakout feels like it really tried squeezing in or fitting in Halo into a certain game mode that doesn't really say necessarily even fit with the game itself. Like, it seems like they're trying to do like a, a Halo version of Search and Destroy. But it's like Search and Destroy is like it's fun for its own reasons. It doesn't need to be. Oh, I could have I was gonna be able to get that guy. 
It's a, I understand why they want to try to bring a game mode like that into Halo 5, because it's definitely the most popular, one of the most popular game modes in Call of Duty, but it's because it works for Call of Duty and not necessarily that it works for Halo. And my teammates are shooting me, because I took the Halo 2 battery rifle. Sorry, dude. I took your gun. I didn't know you licked it in the match. And oh my god, the grenade got me! But also, you know, there are, I know that there are quite a few people out there who actually really do like Breakout. And uh, you know, if you're one of those people watching this video, let me know like why you like Breakout. Personally, I like Extermination 20 times over Breakout, but you know, some people really like Breakout as well. So, you know, if you're one of those people, sound off in the comment section. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. There we go, he's down. Let's see if anyone charges back in. Oh, what? 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 How did that get me? All right, we're gonna have to win one. Oh, okay, I'm gonna two on one. Gotta run. Gotta run. Stay alive. No, 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 no. No. Uh, stay alive. Stay alive for the team. Okay, I stayed alive at least. Woo. See, there's moments like that you don't get in any other, any other game mode in Halo 5, except for maybe for Breakout. But you know, all you gotta do is just stay alive, and there's an opportunity you can the match can swing back in your favor. You know, within 10 seconds. Teammates running in solo into their spawn, bro. A little courageous there, my homie. We got this. Three on one. And you went around. Oh, my God, I only have one left. Where is he? Oh, my gosh. This round is intense. 15 seconds left in the round. Here we go. We finally got a kill. <laughs> and the tie. Oof. That was an intense round right there. See, that's why I love this freaking mode, man. Like, it was anybody's game the entire time. That's what makes it so much fun. We got this. We got this. We only have one left. Let's push it. Yes! Victory! We're going down, kicking and screaming. I can't hit this guy! Woo! It's one on one. Oh! Yes, and we clutched it, clutched it with there at the end right there. Yes! Got that one. Oh my god, it's such a rush. It's so much fun. I just don't really know like a good like good opening rounds or anything with this mode or on this map right now. If it was the same as as last time, then like yeah, I would know exactly what to do. One on one again, let's do this. Oh shoot. Whoa! Oh, he, you know, he had teammates spawn back in. You little dome. Stay alive, teammate! No! <laughs> Stay alive! Oh my god! And we had another teammate spawn in. This is hype! Keep it going, guys! Yes! Oh, he's pushing in for the spawn charge! <gasps> oh my god, you gotta be kidding me! I absolutely detest spawn charge with a fiery passion of a thousand suns. But we got that victory. We need to win two more rounds straight to win off this match to see how how we can do. Oh my gosh! No! Ah, oh, damn! I wasn't expecting the guy to rush right up the middle like that. I got a kill with a nade at least. Oh, and we lost. Woof! That was intense, man. I had 14 assists that match. 14. Either everyone just likes taking my kills, or I just can't finish a dang thing. Okay, so I've played this map before, but I don't remember doing it so well. But the other thing I wanted to kind of talk about is how do you think this game mode would play in a competitive scene? Like, how would you think the professionals would end up playing Extermination? Because it kind of, I mean, to me, has that kind of competitive edge kind of feel to it that you would think you might even see like in a competitive game mode, like in HCS and stuff like that. Oh, nice nade there, buddy. Let's grab those rockets. Okay, teammate guy, I'll let him have it. I mean, it might be kind of interesting to see how they do it because I would love to see just like these coordinated pushes where they know like one guy's down, everyone push forward kind of thing. Where, well, how did this guy come from behind me? Man, whatever. Let's say keep it alive. This oh great, we have one guy who's AFK. Now that's just freaking great. Ain't that just a beat? But yeah, because I was wondering to see how curious how like professionals would go about playing this kind of game mode. Uh, would it be like really campy then like once one guy dies it's just like a swarm of the team would just come in and just try to keep the kill or would it be kind of high action kind of like how it is in these games like in cups or is it play with how would it play some different i don't know 
I personally think it'd probably be really campy, but very intense. Like, say, I remember like watching HDS matches on Lockout back in the Halo 2 anniversary days, where it was like, you know, 30 to 32, and that was the game score kind of thing for Team Slayer now. So, you know, you might hear that go like, wow, that's kind of slow and really boring. But the way it happened was like, these plays, these players had to make where like every single move mattered, every single death really mattered. And that's something that you don't really see very often, like, especially in like a team deathmatch kind of mode, like Slayer. Very happy that you only get one grenade in this game mode. Uh, I thought that was a person's gun over his shoulder. That's just a gun that's wiggling right there. <laughs> he saw me looking throughout the whole time like, Oh, I'm gonna get this guy. He's gonna pick his head and I'm gonna get him real easy. And then he's just, <laughs> just being a, like, just a wiggly gun. And we're really kind of spread out now. We're like coordinating on our pushes here. I'm trying to follow my teammates at least the best of their abilities, but you can't keep up with them, man. Sometimes guys just keep moving too, too fast. I'm not killing that guy. Oh my gosh! I just can't. I can't win right now, can I? Oh, look at those spammy rocket shots. There you go. It's like that meme, you know, where it's like, who would win? Guy using high ground advantage or one spammy boy? That's two on two right now. Okay. I think I gotta use up those rockets. There we go. Yes. No! Where the heck did that guy come from? The frigate's burn charge! Oh my god! And there we go, got another win! Man, these matches, like, you gotta be on top of your game if you're gonna jump into extermination, but if you're on it, it is fun. It is real fun. Real fast paced, super fun. If you guys wanna see some more extermination, you know, let me know in the comment section down below. Or, like, like I said earlier, if, why do you like uh, Breakout over extermination or vice versa? You know, I do wanna, I do read all the comments to try to reply to the most of them as well, because I can't understand why anybody would like breakout over extermination i just can't see it but that's just me though i want to know why you have to say so let me know in the comment section if you want to see some more content from me and all that stuff you know some live streams and stuff like that of halo make sure to tap the subscribe button with the notification let you know every time I'm doing anything awesome on this channel and i'll catch you all in the next video peace out